Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to partition your hard drive or SSD on a macOS device. It's a pretty straightforward process, so let's get straight into it. So just before we get started, it's worth mentioning that this will work on all versions of Mac OS, even dating back possibly 10 years ago, because it's a very similar layout and process, even on those older versions. So don't worry too much about what Mac OS version you're running, because it will be a very similar process on most of them. All right, so now that I've mentioned that, we'll go to Spotlight Search here, and we'll type in Disk Utility, like so. And then we can just click Enter, on disk utility and then it will take a moment to load the disks and then you'll see a page similar to this so if you open this for the first time it might be on the view for show only volumes so you won't see as much detail but what I want you to do is click the view button up here uh, it's next to the disk utility name and then click show all devices and then you'll see the extra devices themselves so then what you can do is if you have macOS Catalina or later, you'll have the option for APFS volumes here. So you can see it there. And that will mean you have a container to hold all of your data in. Now, if you're on macOS Mojave or older, you won't have a container and it will just be macOS extended journalized. But that's not a problem because it's the same process no matter what you're doing. All right, so now that we've shown all the devices here, we can either go to the entire SSD or hard drive itself, or we can go to any one of these partitions. So I'll start by showing you the entire SSD. So we can click on it there, it'll be the topmost one, that will be the source drive. What you can do is you go to the partition section here, so it's sort of in the top section of the window. So just click on partition, and then you'll see this page up, come up here. And then what you need to do is click on the big partition here. So in my case, it's called Untitled, but yours might be called Macintosh HD or Mac OS or something similar to that. So you can click that big section. And then the lines are representing the sections that have been already used on this partition. So I've used about 150 gigs or so on this computer, which means I'll probably have about uh, 80 to 100 gigs to use here. So what you need to do is then press the plus button here, and then you'll see this menu come up here. It says, do you want to add a volume to the APFS container or do you want to divide the container storage into separate partitions? So what adding a volume does is it means it will just add another like um, volume inside the container. So at the moment you've got uh, a couple of volumes in there, one to hold all of your data and one for the operating system itself. Um, but for most people, you'll just want to click add partition. So I'll show you what it's like to add a volume first. So if you click that, you'll see this um, screen come up and then you can type a name for it. So storage and then go through APFS here. But I'm going to go back because most people will just want to add a partition. So I'm going to go back to the partition menu, back click on Untitled. If you're having trouble creating a new partition you need to make sure that you click on your big drive here if you're on one of these small drives you're not going to be able to do it so make sure that you click on the big drive and then what you'll want to do is click the plus button click add partition and then you'll have a little slider to adjust the partition to the exact size that you want you can also adjust the size here but it might be in megabytes, so just change it to the relevant size. So in this case, most relevant size is gigabytes. And then you can type in, so, so I want exactly 
really precise 52.3 gigabytes, I can do that through that size calculator. Although I recommend just doing like whole numbers because it's just a bit easier to remember. And then you can give it a name. So I might want to call a storage or whatever is relevant to you. And then you can give it any format. So APFS is the newest one, uh, but you won't have these options if you're on Mojave or older. And then you've also got MS-DOS and XFAT as options as well. And then all you have to do is just click apply and it will create the partition. And at any time, if you're not happy with what you have done here, you can either just click cancel or if you want to keep working but reset it, you can just click revert and it will go back to the defaults. So yeah, that's a really quick and easy process on how to add a partition or a volume to your hard drive or SSD in Mac OS. And as I said, this will work on all versions of Mac OS, even dating back as much as 10 years ago, possibly, because they all use a similar layout for this partition. It just might be that some of the options are in a little bit of a different position uh, due to the UI layout, or also just some of them may not exist at all. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success with adding a partition or a volume to your Mac OS device. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other videos you would like to see on this channel because I'm more than happy to make them if you would like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.